So, India is a vast, complicated, intricate, fascinating, exotic, frustrating, annoying. There are an infinite number of adjectives that can apply and all are correct and justified. India is a, a country with over 1.1 billion people, 70% of whom are agrarian, of which the vast majority are subsistence farmers, who are at present not a part of the marketplace or plays in the market. This is where I've really concentrated my own personal experience. Uh, started off on the agricultural side, bringing, as I said earlier, Israeli agricultural technology into India. And there's a lot of scope for that because, especially today, when we're talking about what's happening in the last six months or so, there's a worldwide crisis in foodstuff. Prices have gone up. Uh, there's a shortage of foodstuff in the world totally. It's caused inflation rates throughout the world to increase. And India is in a position to really solve this problem. Now, why? Because India has got one of the largest agrarian land mass in the world, a huge land mass, which is uh, capable of growing a lot of foodstuff. India today is the second largest foodstuff grower in the world. It's also got one of the lowest yields of any agricultural country in the world. In other words, if you combine these two and you do something about the yield problem, you can solve the world's foodstuff problem. India can then become an exporter of foodstuff. That's what I'm doing as far as bringing know-how, Israeli know-how, into India and to improve the agricultural uh, level, technology level. Very small and it's starting, but it's, it's on a percentage basis happening in, in very rapidly. Things are very, really changing. Now, the remainder of the population, about 30 to 35 percent of middle class with regular incomes and a definite force in the marketplace, this comes to over 350 million people. It's the largest middle class of any country in the world. Far larger than China, which everybody's talking about. Later on, I'll talk about the comparison with China. Uh, certainly larger than any other country. In America, it's, it's more than the whole population of the United States. That's the middle class in India, and it's a middle class which is now becoming far wealthier than it ever was before. The purchasing power is really increasing of that middle class. Now, the statistics I just gave, 70% agrarian, give a bit of a distorted picture. In addition, India is one of the most industrialized countries in the world. It spent many years developing and protecting its industry after two centuries of ravage by the British rulers. Protection which resulted in gross inefficiencies but it did allow the country to build up its industrial base. India had a growth rate till earlier this year of around 10% per annum. This year it's come down, they're talking about 3.5%, 4%, which is the lowest in 10 years. I firmly believe that's going to go back up again. This is a temporary recession which the whole world's going through. So the whole concept of moving 700 million people <coughs> from a status of illiterate subsistence peasants to literate consumers takes a lot of growth, and that's exactly what India is doing. And it's a dedicated growth, it's a directed growth, where the government is doing its bit, and usually the private sector is much stronger in this move towards industrialization, move towards progress and advancement than, than even the government today, for the first time in many, many years. It's just happening now.